you know what? It's all about getting right back into it, man. Not even a week later, they are back into the swing of things. And you see Leo taking a big old swing with that forward smash, trying to put Spargo on nose. Interesting going with the Aegis here. One thing that I will say is going for Spargo for sure. sure. Plays his character at a very high level as well. So not too many things going to catch Spargo off guard, I want to say, with Pyramithra. But at the same time, it's still Pyramithra. Oh. That's a bad ah! bitch! They don't get and no you just pattern. found out why. One point, the Undisputed 1 and 2 on the planet, looking to get back to those very titles for sure, but ironically having to go through each other to take another step in that direction. And right now, a couple big time steps for MK Leo is putting him ahead 58% unanswered to right. so continue that pressure. Yes, he can. Uh -oh. I like gotta figure something out. Oh my God, and landing with a big button right there. No punish before two is pirate. Oh, so slow. long road to so get there, but finally gets the stock. Their recoveries are so good, bro. And like you said before, Mythic's recovery is kind of like, you know, duty water ass cheeks, but the fact that he's Leo's able to make that comeback happen all the time is really good. Oh, him with that jab looking to up here? Oh, no, wow. come on. Oh, put it on fresh cut. Put it on fresh cut. He just wrote a few more words that, that man, <laughs> man. You, you I'll, I'll you drop the emails one day. You didn't try hard enough, Max. You didn't try. Oh, I tried you so could, hard. You I tried so game. hard, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know if you unlock all the spirits, you can shield drop. Absolutely. But hey. Oh, down tilt, the two frame two, perfectly timed. Oh, I was gonna say if he does it again, this guy's actually just insane. There we go. Oh, yeah. Forcing the early Pyra oh. for the recovery, and now Leo. Forced to play Pyra for a few interactions, and Jack making really good use of that, finding a solid lead, but now Mifra coming back in, and that pressure is really hard to deal with for Polu. Again, the upbeat, a tricky angle landing on the stage, starting it below the stage, uh, but Chag just so knowledgeable about everything that Paltana can do. Leo here, coming with punish, yeah, again. denying the double jump to stage. Yeah, and he finally moves on to Pyro. Up to now he was on. Oh, again, I'm going to Mitra. I love how he's oh just using him. And Kingdom. That forward smash is insanity. Seriously, that's yeah. the first time I hear about it. Yeah, Leo just making great use oh of Mitra as a character. The early side B is a mix up. Yep. Yep. Leo knowing that even if he gets hit out of it, he still has his double jump. He's still good to go. Yeah, and Jack. I'm quite surprised because for now he just uses it twice and twice connected so well. Uh -huh, again, uh -huh, good, uh -huh. good idea for a mix up. Going for the try again on ledge, applying so much pressure. I love how uh, just puts you in disadvantage again and yeah. again. Even if the damage or not dropping up that much. And if you, get, uh, yeah, if you yeah. get out of one situation, you're in and the next. Never mind. And if you get out of one situation, you're in the next. Back edge guards coming out from Zamba. Zamba really abusing the weakness of this character. Yeah, and Rob has so many commitment free ways to challenge them off stage. Right? Oh, hold on. Oh hold on. God. Are you done? Yes, you are. Albino Kong as the Yeti tries to take down the god of Mexico himself. And Glug was actually able to beat out, I believe, Peckham in order to make it here. And that's that's Donkey Kong Min Min versus Donkey Kong Ice Climbers. Yes. So that's a painful matchup. But Donkey Kong players, you already know. They already know, yeah, this is, they gaslight themselves and thinking everything is an <laughs> even or winning matchup. That's well, what you got to do. But well, this one, Leo's making it seem like, yeah, nah, this is how we truly expect this to go. Is this a zero death to open up winner semis? And Leo doing it, of course, with <laughs> ages. No bias, obviously, here for the grabs, and you get the jump reset on that middle platform. Not a lot of space to actually mix up the landing, and that's what I'm scared Ooh. about when it comes to Leo. Look at this. He has not taken a lick of damage just yet. And again, it just feels like Pyra only, or Mithra only comes out for Leo at the really early percent. And now, oh my goodness, oh, the oh, snipe on no stage! Way. Not too sure if Cole is just trying to call out Leo in the air more often, but he's getting punished because, again, this is Leo. He's just waiting. He's reacting. He's got him stuck on that top platform, and he hasn't landed! Yeah. He hasn't landed! You have to go to ledge. You have to go to ledge, or you have to go for neutral air dodge if you're Roy. You have no great landing tools. You do get the jump refunded here. Has no problem doing damage. It's about when you get in the kill, though. That's where it matters. And that's what we're talking about the opponent capitalizing. Leo gonna be <laughs> who capitalizes off best. It's definitely gonna be him. I want you to take a look at the rapid jab at the ledge. At this point, Riddles has yet to touch Leo. Like, he is playing this neutral pristinely, forcing an air dodge, playing around this platform. Riddles can't get down. 135 oh, unanswered. Wow. A perfect oh. stop from MK Leo. If you, can force, if you can force a, a high recovery, the Shokunets, I'm sorry, no, the uh, Tatsumaki, yeah, but even low recovery. You, you saw that Leo was trying to get the spot, the the foresight off of the uppy recovery a minute ago. Started trying to just keep his guard up, trying to force the issue a little bit, calmly, carefully, and that's just oh. not going to happen. Leo didn't blink. He didn't budge. He's like a rock, Gucci. Yeah, I can't believe he pulled the trigger on that <laughs> on that DP. Oh no, here we go. Oh, oh. no, double dipping into the upper, and oh my gosh, still kill, and now it is Tarek on the hunt. 
Get a good juggle situation, but not much out of it. 80% on MK Leo, and he, he just keeps on going. Just doesn't stop. Just let him touch the ground. It's Air Tarek right now. He's sent off to the side once again. Let's see if Tarek can make his way. It's not the worst deficit in the world, but the key is who you have a deficit against. Yeah. There, fellas, MK Leo, even with one stock is a nightmare to deal with. What happens when you give him three? Yeah, it's, it's like catching MKLeo off guard is one thing, but keeping him in that situation where you are able to keep him in his advantage and hit him, gets a percentage in, it is super difficult. And there goes the ledge drop. One of his favorite things, he loves him. I, I can imagine, <laughs> I can imagine that if you have a kill option at two frames, basically. <laughs> As he gets sent back once again, looks like MKLeo wants to clean it up but how much of a fight can Tarek put up? An early air dodge into the ground allows Tarek to continue this string. Fantastic oh. job weaving in and out, but finally MKLeo with a return hit, and now you're in that no-fly zone. The down air was a mix-up, but it's just not that interesting to Leo, because he's seen it all before. Mm -hmm. Actually, getting a lot, he got a lot of mileage out of the dash deck in those couple of interactions, and now MKLeo has met the last no dash deck inside, but the Pyra down air! We're gonna add the top platform, and. Going to oh, Battlefield, God. Leo, again, setting up La Prison, the ledge pressure, the corner pressure, even the center pr stage pressure. Because here's the thing, right? It's not just about the situation. It's about how you enter it. Indeed. And well, well, Meister, oh my God, this is how he's living the situation here. And we're going to send him down into the blast on a yes field, to your point. They just know each other's character so well, but not only that, they just know each other so well. So it's really hard yeah. for both of yeah. you to surprise each other. But the offstage gameplay, again, if you're going to really open your opponent up for both for these two characters is definitely out there. That is uncharted territory for these two characters, at least on the Ooh. defensive end. Oh nice, God. getting okay, experimental Leo. right here. Going blue on his way down. You better figure it out here and fast. Oh, nice, I love that parry. Let me just go ahead and turn around, go for the grab. Oh, big whiff on that blade beam, that's huge. It's gonna make the recovery a little bit more susceptible. But Spargo Ooh. able to get back. Okay. Oh, Look. nah, that's it, yeah. Man. You give Leo a lead, not many can take it away from him. No, sir. Ah, uh, he, he went just a little bit too early with the dash attack. Try to call it where Leo was going to land off the explosion. AC has to materialize something off of one of these situations, but he just can't get blown up like that. Oh, the, oh, the rapid jab from Leo doing a lot of damage. And AC getting more animated as, see, as it seems like the opportunities to bring this one back are vanishing. Uh, once again with the best. roll in. He ah. keeps on rolling in and getting punished with the down tilt or down air. Because you want to set up multiple grenades to Snake too, so like that button is so just ready made for Snake in that situation. But Leo, Ooh. this keen, so smart punishing it. The jumps here, changing up so much space. And just the doors closing on AC's chances here. Can he get oh, back? Oh, what a chase!